Ah, at last! I am coming as quickly as I could. Parhat must have come up with another one of his deceptions. I can't sense him at all. It's never happened before. This little brat is growing every day more power. Utter no idiocies! <laughs> it's just a stupid trick. Which apparently is well succeeding. By all the saints and sinners! Do you dare make a mockery of me? Uh, 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 perish for it, master. Uh, what do you want I should do? Uh, Use one of your useless gadgets and find Farhart. We must at all costs prevent him from recovering the last fragment of the Shareman. It was a good idea to hide in the passages underneath Zenim's tower. This place is surrounded by a magical aura. Eagle Khan will never be able to find us here. Howling sandstorm! Uh -huh. I tell you it was here! Then look for it! I've already looked! Uh -huh. Let's check this out. Uh -huh. What the devil's been going on here? I can't find the Alchemilia. Do you realize what a disaster that is? And right before we were supposed to pick up the seventh magical fragment. So how can you have lost it? And indeed, I did not lose it. It disappeared after you, in your ignorant fashion, insisted on doing what you are pleased to call tidying up. And in the <laughs> process, you mumser, you lost one of the greatest treasures ever visited upon humanity! I may be ignorant, but I am forced to remind you that you are nearly 900 years old, and at a certain age, people tend to forget things or to mislay them. Oh, you miserable stink pot! Now that's enough. We're near the end of our mission, and we can't allow ourselves to fail. There's no sense getting worked up into a lather. Ali, take a deep breath and start looking calmly. Uh, ben will help you. Uh, no thanks. I'll manage without the help of this tidiness freak. Uh, 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 Tilda, where are you going? Up to the battlements. I have to ring up Daddy. We're hiding down here so as not to be discovered. I can't get a line down here. You're going to have to give up your call this once. If I don't speak to him, he'll worry so much he won't sleep a wink. Well, what about my situation with my parents? They're being held captive by an evil monster and I've not been able to free them. I know, and I'm terribly sorry, but I have to ring up Daddy. I categorically forbid it. You can't compromise the mission for a stupid phone call. Stupid mm -hmm. phone call indeed. How dare you? I thought you and I were the ones who were supposed to keep calm. Shan't be a moment. Tilda! Tilda! Foolish little chit. Hey, look, I found it. Oh, oh, there are signs etched into this rock. Astral signs. Why, this is Zenim's map. It's the Matrix, the original. I'll copy it. Then, after I've spoken with Daddy, I'll compare it to ours. That stubborn redhead. I just hope she doesn't get us into trouble. Ali, go make sure she hurries. Howling sandstorms, why do I always get the grunt voice? Mm. I get goose flesh every time I walk into old Zenim's laboratory. Greetings to you, young Ali. Master, is that really you? I am very proud of you indeed, young Ali. Master, what a joy to see you again. You have carried out the very difficult task I set for you with all the devotion and thoroughness I expected. I simply followed your wise teachings. But uh, uh, tell me, are you... You're asking whether I am dead? <laughs> My body is nothing but a grain of sand in the desert now. But I have never ceased watching over you. Oh, I know. I've always sensed your benevolent presence next to me. But tell me, Master, will we be able to carry out the mission? The success of the mission will depend entirely on the young man. You must mean Farhat. Yes, Ali. He is the predestined one. He's a great kid, and very wise for one of his tender years. Yes, but the forces of evil are always ready to pounce. Therefore, I have decided to give you a little helping hand. Close your eyes. Wow! Study its contents most thoroughly. They might come in handy in the difficult situations you will surely encounter. Master Zenim. Now I must go. May good fortune go with you, young Ali. Will I be seeing you again? Who can say? What is written in the stars? 
sorry, Daddy. I can't stay on the line very long today. I had a flaming row with Farhat over it. I must say I don't understand, lovey. You've always rung me up right at this hour, no matter where you were. The North Pole, Mexico, what's so blooming different about today? You don't understand, Daddy. Today we pick up the seventh and last fragment of the magical shower man and unite it. Look, love a duck, where? So, big day is today and place is Zenim's Tower. All I having to do is inform me, Igor Cannon. No, why should I discommodating Babylonian spook? I have potent machines for making surprise attack on my own. I am genius! Sorry, Daddy. I'll have to ring off now. Something might be happening. If you're involved, something's always happening, lovey. That's really remarkably funny, Daddy. I'll call you tomorrow at the same time if I'm able to. <laughs> I must warn the others. Soon Tower will be nothing but grains from sand. Nothing! <sighs> but whatever, you are dung out here. Did you really think I'd leave you to your own devices while confronting... I am delightful for to seeing you. I do not doubt it whatsoever. Since you are here, it's only fitting and proper that you should gang first. Forget the banana oil, Snarchkoff. I don't need your permission for anything. <laughs> what in the world could have happened to Tilda and Ali? Hmm? I knew I should have never let her go up on the roof. Come on, let's go find them. Hmm. Hurry! We have to warn Farhat. We've been discovered. To put it more accurately, you were discovered. Oh, there you are, finally. Farhat, I'm sorry. Snorchkov found us out. I knew it. Hmm. Oh. If he sets fire to that oil, it'll be a disaster. I might just be able to do something about it. What's that? Insurance policy. I hope. No! Then hurry! Close off the <laughs> secret passage! <laughs> My beloved master thought of everything. Oh! Hurry up, Ali! Oh! Ready to go. Hadla, I'll show you a thing or two. You old blow hard. can't pull one over on a Sumerian demon! Ali, you're fantastic! The heck? I don't deserve no praise. It's all Zenim. Yeah, the one and only. Impetuous winds, merciless hurricanes, howling cyclones, I summon ye! What did you say? I can't hear you! Desk, it's gonna smash 
catch us! Ali, we're running out of time! Got it! I believe I am sustaining injury. Yes! Master Zenim, you are a freaking genius! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I do believe I am one solid mass of bruises from the top of my head down to my toes. Quite. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Look over there. We can say goodbye to the Astral Stone. Better than saying goodbye to everything. Howling sandstorms. I don't believe my eyes. Oh. <gasps> I think the guy's a little angry. <laughs> Prepare for the voice. <laughs> Not a vertical object will be left in radius of a hundred versts. <laughs> well met, young prince. Transformation. The blue is invisibility. Ah, oh, yeah, sure, I got it. Yellow. No. Can't even stand a couple pieces of glass. Well struck, Ali. Congratulations. Allow me, I should return the compliment by congratulating you on your perfect aim, Bubbler. It's a shame I cannot bombard them with my cannon. But perhaps a little surprise I still have down my stocking. <laughs> Within certain limits, I would say, perhaps yes. Poor Master Zenim. All his knowledge in rubble. It's tragic. <laughs> the rock with the astral map engraved on it was destroyed as well. Uh, where's Tilda? Uh, Tilda! Uh, Tilda! Uh, Here I am! Uh, uh, Look at the sun. It's setting. 
Howlin' Sandstorm's the crystal! Hurry, kiddo, or we'll miss out on the last fragment! Glow Shadow, seize the light! Get out of that bag, Shadow! <laughs> There are times when very simple strategy is being more effective than complicated ones. <laughs> it's all over. The Sharaman is lost to the world forever now. Is done! The Right Honorable His Majesty Abdul Snarchkov as in this moment, changing the destiny of the universe by seizing in his own hands the destiny of mankind. I am master of world. I not even need to bother finishing off miserable brat right now. I come back with entire army. <laughs> and now what will happen to my father and mother? Eagle Khan will dispose of them now that he doesn't need them anymore. We will all die under the reign of that demon. He will hold all of humanity in abject servitude. Forgive me, Master Zenim. I've disappointed you. You know, Ali, I was sure we'd win out in the end. <laughs> Go away! Who needs you anymore? Now, just where did we go wrong? Bloody hell! I say! This is... this is a piece of Zenim's astral engraving. It was spared from the disaster. It was obviously meant to be. What are you going to do for her? There's only one possible answer. Do my best to free father and mother. A desperate undertaking, kiddo. I know. <clears throat> I need to try to relax for a while. So do I. You coming? No, I'll stick around another little while. Why are you waiting? To see the stars? Maybe, yeah. You won't find any help from that particular quarter, Ali. It's clear that they've abandoned us. I managed to save this map from destruction, and what good did it do for me? Nothing at all. Don't even think of it. Give that to me. What do you think you're doing? There are no problems, my boy. Only solutions. She's gone bonkers. Broads can't stand up to real stress, you know. Mm -hmm. I think she's found something. What could she possibly have found, dummy? Let's see. Hmm. I tell you, she's found something. Huh. Ridiculous. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I have to admit it. Your old master really knew a thing or two. You talking about Zenim? He thought precisely as I do. Every problem bears its solution within it. I, Petroleum King from Universe, cannot be running out of petrol! <laughs> Kingdom is to southeast. A few miles walk is not going to be enough to discouraging future King of World! Zenim knew Ego Khan and always kept one step ahead of him. His map showed us the place to pick up the crystal, in other words, the tower, but it gave us the wrong time of day. You saying Zenim made a mistake, kiddo? Like, no way! He did make a mistake, but he did it on purpose to deceive Ego Khan. With great cleverness, he showed the correct hour only on the rock engraving, which tells us that the last crystal will appear not at sunset as we believed, but rather when the moon reaches its full zenith in just a few moments. Now it's up to you. <laughs> well, good news can bring strange reactions. Search harder! <laughs> Eagle Khan, dearest beloved master, I must say you are looking a bit peaked. 
I have no feeling in my legs. You are not having any. But Farhat is far worse off than I am. Without his precious Sherman! <laughs> <laughs> you will be giving me credit for this accomplishment, is it not? Credit where credit is due. I must admit it. You were most astute. Hurry, Shadow, and seize the light! Ah, Cerberus with a smile! <laughs> You see your way toward rewarding me with, shall we say, North America? Why don't you take South America as well, my good friend? Yes, that would be nice. I leaving at your disposal charming little island in Caribbean for when you decide you want to come and visit me. Not too often, obviously, because I'm not... Enough of this nonsense, useless, uh, foolish mortal. Uh, now that I am uh, finally master of the world, uh, uh, I have no further need of you. Uh, it's not possible! The Shuriman! Run while you can. I'll finish you off very soon. Look, Farhat. The tail of Scorpio has moved again. Now it seems to be pointing right in our direction. You know what this means? That the prophecy has been fulfilled. Yes. Yeah. The stars are with us. What are we waiting for then? Let's go take care of Igokan and Snarchkov. Yes, Ben. <laughs> Let's go.